Hello, Mr. Paul here for the Silk Branch Library. And today I'm going to read you a couple of stories. Um, the first one is called Pickle Things by Mark Brown. Pickle things you'll never see like pickles on a Christmas tree. A pickle ear, a pickle nose, pickle hair and pickle toes. Pickle up and pickle down, juggle by a pickle clown. Pickle in, pickle out, pickles from the water spout. Pickle things you'll never make, Ugh, like pickle pie and pickle cake, yuck. Pickle donuts, pickle flakes, pickle candies, pickle shakes. Pickle things you'll never buy, like pickle kites that fly sky high. A pickle ball, a pickle bat, a pickle train, a pickle hat. You never hear a pickle talk. You never see a pickle walk. You never hear a pickle sing or see a pickle leave a ring. Can you ride a pickle boat around a pickle castle moat? Or ever steer a pickle bike down pickle street and pickle pike? Or ever fly a pickle plane through pickle snow and pickle rain. That would be just silly. Or ski a pickle down a slope or climb a pickle with a rope. One thing for sure you never do is wear a pickle for a shoe. Never pickles on your feet. Of course not, silly. There to eat. Mm. And that was Pickle Things by Mark Brown. My next story is another funny one. It is called My Little Sister Ate One Hair by Bill Grossman. And it's not talking about the hair on your head. It's another word for rabbit. My little sister ate one hair. My little sister ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes, she ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants. Two snakes, one hair, we thought she'd throw up thin and there, but she didn't. 
My little sister ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate six mice. She spit them out and ate them twice. She ate five bats, four shrews, three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes, she ate one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice, five bats, four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. Pew. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. Ew. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice. She ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My sister ate nine lizards. She ate their heads and legs and gizzards. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. And seven pollywogs, six mice, she spit them out and ate them twice. Five bats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes. She ate two snakes for heaven's sakes. And of course, she ate one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate ten peas. But eating healthy foods like these makes my sister sick, I guess. Oh my goodness, what a mess. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed my stories. And I wanted to let you know that summer reading is going on. So if you haven't signed up for our summer reading challenge, head down to your local library and you can uh, sign up for summer reading. We have all kinds of fun programs coming up and all kinds of prizes for you to earn for reading. So check it out and hope to see you soon at the library. Bye.